Bahia, Brasil. Day number six, Porto Seguro. So Nina, what was that? Uh, it was capoeira, which is a um, uh, martial art. Martial art? Here. Yeah, it's local here from Bahia. And it's like amazing. They have a lot of types of capoeira. And this is one of these. Okay. And that's it. Interesting. We, we did, we did, we do actually here in Brazil, we do capoeira in the school. Like since you are children. Yeah. Uh, they do, they do it. So this is a form of martial arts, um, and there's different types, and this was just one of them. But uh, you guys learned this in school growing up. Yeah. So yeah, so as Nina was saying, um, Porto Seguro was the first city discovered by who? Pedro Álvarez Cabral. Pedro Álvarez Cabral. And the Portuguese that discovered Brazil, not discovered, but came here for the first time and made Brazil Brazil. We only had indigenous here before that, so it was better. <laughs> it was better. It was better. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the story behind Porto Seguro, the first city or the first town here created um, in Brazil, where Brazil started, and this is where Brazil was first discovered. We're currently walking through the through the town, um, kind of just strolling around the historic center. Um, Nina has this bracelet that's pretty curious, and she just told me about it. So do you want to talk about that? Yeah, this bracelet, you. It's like a fita, I don't know how to say that, but um, you need to put in your arm and you can make three wishes. Obrigada, meu amor. Olha só. If you pass through and don't, don't buy something, you will be uh, you will be like three years without making love. That's what <laughs> she said. So. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that is. So, bring bring us back to the bracelet. Bracelet. Uh -huh. Um, you need to to like put in your arm and you do three wishes, make three wishes, and when the bracelet broke, break, break. breaks, um, the wishes will come true. So that's it. How many do you have on right now? I, I have a lot of them. She has, uh, let's see. She has three bracelets, so she has uh, nine, nine pending nine wishes. wishes. And now we will try a carajé. Carajé. Então, o que é isso? Isso é... Isso é bolinho de mandioca uhum. com carne seca. É, é como um aipim bowl with dry meat. Então, so that's it. Uh, aipim bowl. Aipim bowl. Aipim bowl. Yeah. What is aipim? Aipim is mandioca. Mandioca. It's the thing that we have here. It's like a bean? It's manioc. It's a man. Is it like a bean? What is it? Uh, no, it's a haiz. Haiz. Uh, it's a root. A root. Ah, a root. A root. It's a root. And then I, I, I show you that. You remember? Ah, uh, see. Si. Manioca. Manioca. Manioc. Eh, <clears throat> okay, fate. Looks 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 like a potato, but it's different. Is that what the uh, what is it called? The 
tapio tapioca esmeralda? Yeah, exactly. Essa é para tapioca esmeralda. Yeah. Okay. Então, que é isso? A Lá. carajé. A carajé. Yeah. Que é a diferença de carajé e bolinho? A carajé é is uh, it's, it's another bolinho actually, but it's made of bean. Bean. Yeah, exactly. Entendi, bean, entendi. Bean, bean. And it is fried in a azeite de dendê, which is a local oil here, made from this fruit, uh -huh. like the oil of this. So you made the bolinho and you had a lot of things inside it. You have a quiabo. Caruru. 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 Which quiabo is quiabo. Com castanhas de caju e temperos. Yeah. Uh, quiabo with nuts. Uh, do you have vatapá? Vatapá, which is like a local thing here, made from farinha. Farinha, farinha de trigo, amendoim, cebola ralada e gengibre. Vatapá. Vatapá. Ginger, uh, nuts and farinha. Salada, tomate. Like a, a tomato or something like that. E o and camarão. 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 Filézinho do camarão. And you put everything inside your acarajé and you eat it and you put a lot of pepper in there and that's it. Pepper. Isso aqui. We need to go. Yeah. Esta é a pimenta. A pimentinha retada de boa. A really great pepper. <laughs> that's it. Acarajé, um bolinho. Uh -huh. Crocante. E por dentro, bem sequinho, parecendo um pãozinho. Okay. Então ele frita por fora e cozinha por dentro. Aí vamos aos recheios. O vatapá. O vatapá de vocês não vai peixe também, não? Não, não vai. O caruru também não vai. O caruru tradicionalmente vai o pó de camarão seco. Só que depido ao nosso público, a gente não coloca. E temos aqui, então, agora o camarão. Filézinho do camarão, um camarãozinho catado. Sem casca. E está aqui o nosso acarajé com muito axé. Boa apetite. Ah. <risos> Obrigado. Eu que agradeço, meu amor. Espero Obrigado. que goste. Você hum. vê, vê delicioso. Se quiser me está, citar pelo pão está de delicioso. Aí a gente vai ter que ir comendo, eu acho. Check Você that viu? out, guys. Check that out. Ah, explica para ele o que é o axé. That is Do you know what is axé? axé? Eu não conheço isso. Significa isha. toda a positividade, que tudo que você almeja se realiza. Yeah. It's like a uh, it's like a, a salute here. Like you can give a axé for everyone is like wishing the best energies and that everything comes Boa great. Obrigada, meu amor. Eu que agradeço. Obrigado. Everything comes great and everything oh, so that's it. So, go ahead and take a bite. Go ahead and take a bite. You take the first bite. Menos a proporção de vatapá. You got Nina here? Ah, é isso, né? Aqui não tem nada de nenhuma nada, base de nada, peixe, nada. Nada, nem okay. de pimenta, nada, tá? Sheesh. Tá bom? Como diz minha mãe, igual uma manteiguinha. Só bizarro. Oh, my God. Amazing. Hum. Hum. Aqui bem pouquinho, né? Aqui tá bom? <laughs> Alright. Nesse aí, Barana, pode fechar o olho. My turn, here we go. Aqui é igual McDonald's, é tudo So we got a crunchy, we got a crunchy outside. We got a soft inside. She just put four different types of fillings inside. Um, something new for me, let's go ahead and try it. Oh my god, look that crunchy thing. <laughs> so for you Americans out there, this is a taste that's like very different than anything you would eat. You have like a, kind of like a, a crusted donut. With. No, it's not. It's not, a, it's not a donut. It's not. It's not a donut, but it's like a crusty bread that's warm. And it's, it's filled with like um, food that's that's salty. Like you got uh, your uh, you got your camarón, you got your shrimp, you got your um, kind of like vegetables in there. So it's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's kind of salty, salty, crunchy. Man, this is so different, and it has like some bean sauce in there. Um, 
I don't know how to ex explain it. Uh, seafood and a donut. That's how I would explain it. Ah, it's not. It's not. His wrong. All right, so how would you describe the flavor, Nina? I would describe it tastes like Bahia. It tastes like Bahia. That's it. That's it. Okay, so if I would describe, describe the taste of Bahia, I would say Bahia tastes very uh, seafoodish, like it, it has like a mixture. You need of to try the vegetarian one. You change your mind. Oh. It's pretty good, yeah. It's good, good, right? Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like um It's hot. With a lot of pepper. It has the texture of a donut, but it doesn't have the sweetness of a donut. Um, keep in mind that this donut, this bread is made out of beans. So we got a bean-like bread. And then we have uh, inside, uh, what, like sauce? Moyo? Moyo? It's not molo, it's vatapa, it's a food. It's a food, yeah. but that's also like a bean, right? No, it's from mandioca. Mandioca. Ah, mandioca, which is a root. Yeah, it's maniac. So it tastes, it tastes earthy. That's how I would describe it. Earth, an earthy taste. Um, no sweetness. At all. At all. Some saltiness. It's a salty, it's a salty it's a salty food. food stuff. Yeah. So that's how I would describe this this food very very very, very typical right very typical mm -hmm. of Bahia Bahia again is one of like the most cultural states of Brazil and um, and the most incredible we used to talk in Brazil that Bahia is the best country in the whole world because it is it is because it is they used to say that the Bahia best country. the best country not yeah, the best exactly. state the best country Huh. Bon dia. So what do you bon think? Dia. What do you think Bahia? People people say hello to you like in the middle of the street. So people they're, are very, very warm. Yeah. And you don't they're get perfect. that in Rio, you don't get that in Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. you don't get that mm -hmm. anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And they have a beautiful ocean. A beautiful like history. History, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. getting a lot of Caribbean vibes here. Like I've been to uh, the Dominican Republic. I've been to uh, the eastern side of Costa Rica. So I'm, I'm getting a lot of Caribbean vibes, you know, um, in terms of like the the buildings, how they look, okay. uh, the people, how they look, um, and kind of just like the whole environment, the scene, the beach. Right, the beach is of course way different from the west coast. So that's the kind of vibes I'm getting from Bahia. Yeah. And where? Where? where are we going, Nina? To Rio. So that wraps it up for Porto Seguro. I got to try a lot of different uh, foods here and um, I enjoyed my time, learned a lot, but my time has come and the next video will be in the one and only Rio de Janeiro. I had a lot of fun here and uh, learned a lot here as well. So stay tuned for the video to come. And if you like these videos, please give them a like and a subscribe. It helps me, it helps this channel, it helps this grow. Please give it a like and a subscribe.